you know, the, 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 the whole goal with uh, calling Nick up, you know, I, in the eight and a half years that I've been doing Strongman, um, I've always been able to nudge my training along and make progress, but uh, I was really at a point where I, w I wanted to do anything and everything I possibly could, you know, short of cheating and using drugs. Um, I really wanted to do everything I could to focus on being my best. Um, so it was really um, calling in the expertise, you know, that uh, one person can't necessarily muster by themselves. So it was really all about uh, bringing in expertise and and uh, fine tuning and and really doing everything I could training wise to be my best. When we started uh, our functional workouts, uh, before that we had a conversation. I said, "Look, you know." I want to be my best this year when I go to World Strongest Man. Whether or not I win doesn't really matter. But what matters is if I go there at my best. That I really want to make the effort uh, for 2006 to be my absolute best when I get there, so I can bring as big a fight as possible. I want to be prepared. I want to peak. I want to be conditioned. Um, you know, not only do I want to have great brute strength, but I want to have it, have it at every single event. And I want to be quick. I want to have endurance. Um, and I think we accomplished all those things. I think I was very resilient. I was very well conditioned. I had good brute strength. I had good speed. So, um, and I was technically proficient, you know. I, I could tell from week to week that I was getting stronger in certain movements, that, certain exercises that we would repeat. Uh, my deadlift strength kept going up throughout those uh, 16 weeks actually that I prepared for World's Strongest Man. So that's a huge thing, just right, that right there. Also the conditioning, um, that's one of the things that we're really after was the, the endurance and the conditioning because in a strongman contest you push yourself really, really hard and um, to be able to come back event after event and still be 100%, you know, to totally give everything and then come back You know, my favorite part of the workouts was always the end, you know. Um, it's, it's really nice to have effective training. It's great to have effective training and to be able to see progress. Um, nothing sucks worse than going to the gym and being all fired up and having everything going great in your life. You know, being well rested, well fed, uh, having no big crises to deal with. But you come into the gym or you go to train events or whatever it is and um, things don't go right, you know. There, you've got every reason in the world you should be making progress and you're not. So it, I would say one of the best things about those workouts were there were no really major stumbling blocks. Um, I think a major feature of the functional training is that you've got one or two exercises where you really just bust it out and get most of the work done and then everything else is sort of complementary stuff. Um, so instead of, you know, half a dozen really major, major um, body wrecking, mind torturing, uh, person destroying exercises or events, you know, which is the way a lot of my training's been in the past and I think a lot of people's training is. So it's really nice to um, have effective training that doesn't completely destroy you. And also another really nice thing about the workout is uh, the way we had it set up, I was basically training two, two, three days a week, um, two days a week with the functional training for the first two or three months. And then uh, as, as uh, the, the third and fourth month came along, we started incorporating some event training as well, and tapering back on the functional training. So I actually had some rest days, a lot more rest days than I'm used to. So that was kind of nice too, and it sort of whet the appetite and made you hunger, hungry for the uh, actual functional training days. Goodness gracious, the major differences in all the all these functional things, it's, it's really just, um, you know, creativity. Uh, creativity, intelligence, strategy, um, you know, the major differences are endless. Um, um, gosh, watch the tapes, that's, that's the best way to answer that. Um, the major differences are it's just not the same old exercises. Um, 
The major differences are uh, you're mentally engaged instead of the same old stuff. Uh, the major differences are you're making progress with each and every workout. Um, the major differences are it's, it's just not as frustrating. Uh, it's a hell of a lot of work, but you know it's it's uh, work that you can have faith in, and work that you know is is going towards uh, the result that you're looking for.